Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Joliet, Illinois with a uh, Karen Softard hybrid. I mean, 10% Softard, 90% uh, Karen, and 100% Moron. Yeah, pretty much that kind of person. Anyway, she's uh, been pulled over because, well, she uh, left the scene of an accident. Yeah, hit and run. And, uh, well, she demands to know why she's being pulled over. And despite the officer uh, telling her over and over again, she demands to know why she's being pulled over. And, well, it continues to escalate. It just becomes one big circular argument with her. And, uh, well, she ends up getting arrested. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello. Uh, were you just in an accident back there? You sure? Accident? Yeah, over there on uh, South Hames Street. Okay, do you have your driver's license and insurance card on me? I just need to see your driver's license and insurance card, man. Yes. So you were involved in an accident just back there. We have your drive. We have your your um, license plate, your vehicle description. You're on camera, and you have damage on your vehicle. And then you just left the area. So we're just trying to get your information for the accident, and then we'll send you on your way. Okay? Oh, if it were only that simple, officer. But unfortunately, in this case, she is going to uh, overcomplicate it by asking the same question over and over again. Probably because she doesn't think that uh, leaving the scene of an accident is a uh, good enough RES for her. So I just need to see your driver's license and your insurance card. Ma'am, you need to give us your driver's license and your insurance card. You have absolutely no right. You would have no right to be... My father... She trying to... Ma'am. It's just an accident. Don't turn this into something else. What accident? You were involved in an accident. You, you got to come off of that. You got to come off of that, okay? You were involved in the accident. We have to take your information. What's your first name? <laughs> don't turn this into something that you don't need it to be, okay? All exactly. we let, let me tell you You're something. You're turning it into something. Ma'am, we need to take, over? I already explained why it to you. We need your over? driver's license you and your insurance over? card, Man, or what's going to happen is you're going to end up going why to jail. Why you pull me over? I already explained. Do you want me to explain it to you for the third yeah. time? Okay. Sure. You were involved in an accident on South Hames Street. You left the scene of that accident. We have your license plate. You have damage to your vehicle. We need your driver's license and your insurance card for the accident report, and then we can send you on your way. If you refuse that, you can go to jail. So it's your choice. You may be saying that now, but later on in the video, you will be crying about, don't take me to jail, don't take me to jail, please don't take me to jail. I'm just asking for your driver's license and your insurance card. That's all you got to do. Do you have that on you? What accident are you talking about? The one that you were just involved in. Now, Which you one? don't have to keep doing this. Okay, we can. We're going to continue. Okay. Okay, how about this? I wasn't in no accident. I need your driver's license, your insurance card, or you're going to go to jail. You pulled me over for no reason. I already explained to you the reason. So, I need your driver's license and your insurance card, or you can go to jail for obstructing the police. It's your call. Are you refusing to open the window? Because I think you know what's going to happen if you do that. And you don't need to turn that into something. You pulled me over for what? You want me to explain it to you for the fifth time? Yep. Oh my goodness, Karen. How many times do you have to be told what the RAS is? I mean, 
It's his fifth time, according to him, but you just keep on doing what you're doing, and soon you'll be introduced to those shiny new pair of bracelets. But, uh, like I said before, you're going to be changing your tune quite rapidly. Okay. That's why you ain't get, get on me back in. For the fifth time, you, so wait, you were involved in an accident, there? you so fled the scene, get me, get on me back and in. now you're refusing to give me your driver's why license you and your insurance card. In? So I need to why see your driver's you license there? and your insurance card. Or you'll go to jail for obstructing the police. Right, so I'll tow your car you and impound it. Well, you're going to unlock it for me or I'm going to break the window. Yeah. For what? Because you're refusing to give me your driver's license and your insurance card. I, well, I know I can. Well, hello, Karen. Welcome to the wonderful world of projection, where you project your own faults and character flaws onto everybody else so you don't look... Nearly as bad as you actually are. So are you refusing to open your window? Okay. So at this point, you're under arrest. I need you to get out of the car, or I'm going to break the window and take Why you out. Why are you pulling me over? I already explained that you were past that. Shut the fuck up. All right. If you don't get out of the car, I'm going to break the window. Hey, ma'am. What are you doing here on the scene? Otherwise, you're, you're going to have, we're going to be down at the station. It's yeah, up to you. This shit is dumb as fuck. Okay. Alright. What did I do? It's gonna come I've been here for ten minutes trying to get it through. Here's... Can you shut the car off at least so we don't turn this into something that it doesn't have to be? Yeah, I just don't just ten zero was just standing around the car, okay? Yeah. Thank you. Can you turn the car off? Thank you. Can you give me a driver's license and your insurance card? What do you think he's front of you? I'm just asking for your driver's license and your insurance card. Are you dead ass serious? You finna act like that's what you've been asking me for this whole time? That's exactly what they've been asking from you for this whole time, but you haven't been listening, or you just don't have the ability to comprehend this kind of thing. Well, if that's the case, it kind of makes me wonder how you managed to get through life not being able to comprehend the simplest little things. Because this officer has tried to break it down for you on several occasions, yet uh, somehow don't seem to understand any of it. What have I been asking Shut you the for? fuck up! Like, okay. stop! Okay, I need stop. your driver's license and your insurance card. It's just an accident. Don't turn it. So he should tell you then a, that yeah, you should give me your driver's so license. So why the entire fuck and you what do you me right now if you're acting like yeah. this? Okay. Why are y'all? Why do I? Why am I pulled over right now? For the accident. Six you time? Were you want to go six? You were involved in an accident. You left the scene. I found your car. You have damage to the front of your car. All this is is an accident report, ma'am. Don't turn this into anything else. Don't turn it into something else. It's an accident report. We need your stuff for the report, and then you're on your way. It's your word against the other driver's word. That's all we're looking at, man. You're making this far too difficult on yourself. I understand. On yourself. I understand. Okay. No, like you I just understand. give them your license, your insurance. They can relay that over the other. Can y'all go to them? Well, we already have an officer there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go to them. That's why we're here. I have nothing else to talk about. Okay. I'm good. I need your driver's license and your insurance card. I don't have none of that. And that's the crux of the issue right there. She doesn't have her driver's license because it turns out later on, well, she's driving on a suspended license. And this is the reason why I call her 10% sovereign citizen because, well, she is driving on a suspended license, but she doesn't possess any of the uh, verbiage that a sovereign citizen does, though she is essentially acting like one by refusing to identify throughout the whole thing anyway. But so far, she's definitely acting like a Karen, and she has been 100% a dumbass throughout this whole thing so far. You don't have your license, right? No. No, you're in charge. I don't have it. Okay, I need you to step out of the car. Why? Because I need you to step out of the Why? car, because now you're under arrest for obstructing the police. Okay? Man, you want to turn that into that? We can turn it into that. Just keep your license... Insurance, get, get an ID, whatever you got. Just provide it. It's Monday. We're not trying to make it any more difficult than I am. I didn't do anything. Okay, 
Okay. I'm well, now you're doing something. Give us your license and your insurance card so we can get this on the report and get you the hell out of here. Open up my door. Right. Don't touch shit. I'm not gonna touch don't shit. No, but you I need you to give me your driver's license and your insurance. I right? am, but okay. don't touch my door. Why are you doing that? I've explained it to you already. It right? don't matter. Then act like it. So you need to act, act like, like it. it. Don't touch shit. Give me your driver's you license and your insurance card. Man, what a what's up? You wanna take me to jail? No, take I don't me to jail. Take don't to jail. touch me. Don't don't step in my face. This point, just step really? to the side of the car. This is, a, this, is a, this is in the way. Exactly. Man. Well, now you only have yourself to blame in this scenario, considering that you were the one driving under a suspended license. You were the one that uh, committed the hit and run. Nobody forced you into any of this. But let's go ahead and carry on to when she is. Uh, being driven to the police station where she is going through a whole range of emotions, mostly uh, laughing about it, really. A little longer than a few minutes later. Ain't no drugs. I don't know. Uh, 24 from Central 24. Oh, I'm getting arrested? What am I getting arrested for? Well, you see, what you did back there is like all sorts of not good. Okay. And I think you know that, so just listen. No, what am I getting arrested? It's called obstructing the police. I mean, we can go the whole different route if you want with resisting. You kick the sergeant, we could do that, but we're not, we're not going to do all that unless you act a fool down in the jail. Okay, so what we're going to do, just listen to me. We're going to go to the Joliet Police Department. We have to take your fingerprints and your picture, and then we're going to release it. Listen to me. Just listen to me, Brittany. And then we'll get you out of here on an I bomb. We'll take you back to. Or you can go sit at the Will County Jail with no bond. There's your options. Okay? This started from a simple traffic stop. And, and you could have just went with the program. Yeah, right. Right. But you didn't. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever. So I, I'm just explaining to you why you got arrested. I don't know if that's yeah. true. No. <laughs> oh, well, she's probably intoxicated. She was wrestling with us a little bit. She was in an accident, hit and run, refusing to get out of the car. So, all right, Brittany. So we're gonna take inside fingerprints, pictures, and if you're cool with that, I'll take. It Take me home. I promise you I will, but you gotta promise me that you'll be cool with this. We just gotta take your picture and fingerprints. Hey. We're cool, you're gonna get a recap today. You're yeah. I, did I do anything? I don't want to go to jail. I no, we do don't want you to take you to jail. This is just a misdemeanor. Okay. That's a bullshit ass so misdemeanor. Cool. Okay. So I'm not going to jail. No, this is the police station. This is the police station. Y'all promise y'all not gonna put me in Look, jail. Look, you're, you're on camera. You're on camera, okay? okay. I can't lie to you on okay. camera. Yeah, I'm dead ass here. I didn't know. Fingerprints, yeah. fingerprints, fingerprints and picture, and then we're yeah. we got to do. No, paperwork. you're not finna take no. Brittany, I didn't do we have anything. To. You're under arrest. Nope. It's part of the booking procedure. Listen, nope. to me. listen to me, girlfriend. Listen to me. Y'all not finna. Y'all finna put me do on. Do not walk your way into a felony. Okay, don't. What? Do it. Refusing this is a felony. We're trying oh to get God. you out of here. All right, this Karen was uh, charged with uh, aggravated battery and obstruction of both justice both of which are felonies. Uh, then she was charged with leaving the scene of an accident, driving on a suspended license, and resisting arrest, which all are misdemeanors. And she ended up having over $1,600 in citations and uh, had a $50,000 bond on her. And she ended up spending two months in jail. Well, you know, stupid is as stupid does, and if you want to act stupid, you've got to win the stupid prizes at that. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.